what is going on guys welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about quick chain badge with this one try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense because there's some part of it that if you miss you'll miss the whole point of the video it's not going to be that long anyway and after watching please let me know in the comment section what do you think about it so now for the definition a player with this badge can quickly put together a series of moves while sizing up their opponent but just looking at it, I would say it means that it will make the overall chain dribbles much faster. But there's a part of me though that it thinks that it could mean that it will make your chain dribbles much easier. Because we all know sometimes the word quick is a replacement for the word easy. So let's find out what it actually does. So first, let's see if it will make the chain dribble animations much faster. So we need to find out a dribbling sequence that will trigger the badge that we can do in lots of repetitions uniformly. And to make sure that I can do it uniformly, I took 3 attempts and let's see if they will be in sync to each other because if we are testing dribbling, we need to make sure that all samples are executed the same way. In shooting, it's much easier because I just need to press my modded controller, but with dribbling, I have to execute it on my own hands, so we have to make sure. And as you can see here, everything is on sync. So now let's see the difference between Hall of Fame and No Badge. And surprisingly, everything is just the same. Keep in mind, that's between No Badge and Hall of Fame. If there's a difference, it should be obvious. Now, at this point, I was thinking maybe the window between the dribble moves on that sequence is so small that even if it's boosted by the badge, it's not going to be visible. So I tried another dribbling sequence, but with this one, the window between each animation is much bigger. So maybe it'll be visible here. And after analyzing it, I can see much of a difference still. From time to time though, I can see some frame difference, but it's not really accurate. That's just a margin of error because in this sequence here, it's a bit harder to make everything the same, not like the previous sequence. I always expect that a no badge to Hall of Fame comparison will show a noticeable difference. I'm not 100% sure though if it doesn't really make it faster, but I'm certain that it's either it doesn't make it faster or the boost is really 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 small that I can't even see it on a super slow-mo. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking so far and I'll be making badge videos for the next ones so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out and after watching, please let me know in the comment section what do you think about these results and of course, any recommendation for a topic. So now going back, I was thinking that maybe it gives you a speed boost the moment the badge activates. So let's give it a shot, let's find a sequence that can trigger the badge and as much as possible, won't move the player that much because as you get wider dribble moves, the margin of error in terms of distance covered will be bigger. So with this one, as you can see here, it's pretty much the same. I know there could be a micrometer difference there, but that's really so small, that could be just a margin of error. And keep in mind, that's between No Badge and Hall of Fame. So now you might ask, Toots, then how does the badge work? It doesn't make your chain dribbling much faster, and it doesn't offer speed boost after the activation, so the only thing that is left now is maybe the badge will make your chain dribbling much easier, not really relating to speed. We all know that there's like a window that you need to hit, so the game will register your input and not terminate the dribble so you can chain your dribbles. So what it does is, the badge helps you to convince the game to chain your dribble to the next move instead of terminating the dribble, even you fail to hit the exact timing. If only we can put that into numbers or maybe make a split screen comparison out of it, that'll be good, but unfortunately, it's not really possible. Again, this last part here is just my smart assumption because that's the only thing that I can think of that the badge can offer, which kinda makes sense to be honest. And now I might say, oh, toots, maybe your testing method is flawed, maybe you can't use blacktop on testing dribblings, I know what you mean, but I give blacktop the benefit of the doubt here, dribbling things like how ball handle stat affects the momentum dribble speed, badges like quick first step, triple threat juke, or any other badges about dribbling or even time sensitive things like hustler and bullet passer badge show difference here. So I'm really confident about my black top testings. And now you might ask, Toots, then why the definition says quickly? I think what it meant is you can quickly put moves together because it'll be much easier. <laughs> we all know how 2K make these definitions. And now for the recommendation of the badge, try to practice your dribbling with max and no badge and see for yourself. If you can still do your moves without the badge, then it's useless for you, for your skill. But if you start to fail on making your usual dribble moves the moment you remove the badge, then you need the badge. So in summary, the badge doesn't make the overall speed of your chain dribbles much faster, it doesn't offer any speed boost after the activation, so I assume the only thing that it does is it makes your chain dribbling much easier. 
by increasing the tolerance in terms of terminating your chain dribble. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.